Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 17th of October and I'm here to bring you yet more daily gaming news, this time on Infamous Second Son. Uh, Sony has revealed some box art for the game, which I of course will link in the description for your perusal. And as well as this, they've given some details on a couple of special edition packages. Now, the contents of the special editions vary slightly in Europe and the US, and of course we're going to go through each version in just a moment, but they will all come with the exclusive DLC, which is Cole's Legacy. Now, Sony has issued an official statement regarding the Cole's Legacy DLC pack, so I'm just going to go through that with you now. And they said, quote, But what is Cole's Legacy? For once, it won't be available for purchase when the game launches. It's only available through these offers here. It's additional downloadable content you'll be able to play that uncovers what happened between the devastating events of Infamous 2 and Infamous Second Son. Cole McGrath's actions in New Marais set in motion a chain of events leading to the now forceful occupation of Seattle by the oppressive Department of Unified Protection. Cole's legacy bridges this gap in time with a series of missions Delsin must complete, revealing unique insights into how the world of infamous Second Son came to be. Now, we're going to touch on the topic of that particular DLC in a moment. I just want to go through the differences between the European and US special editions. Now, the EU version, which is the infamous Second Sun Collector's Edition, will contain, of course, a copy of the game, an exclusive cover, an exclusive denim vest cover, a replica of Delsin's beanie, a set of badges, collector's coin, a bottle opener, and, of course, the Cole's Legacy DLC. Whereas the US Collector's Edition, that will, of course, contain the game, an exclusive cover, exclusive in-game vest, a replica of Delson's beanie, a set of pins, decals, a DUP patch, and, of course, the Cole's Legacy DLC. Now, there is a limited edition which has a premium foil cover, as well as the details that I previously mentioned. Sorry, excuse me, scratch that. The limited edition is just the foil and the DLC, not those nice little extras that I previously mentioned. Now, I do have some information on a price. On the American side, we've got the limited edition is $59.99, or for the collector's edition, we've got $79.99 in terms of price. As I said, the limited edition is a just a premium foil cover, and of course the DLC and the collector's edition has those rather nice extras, the DLC and all that good stuff. Unfortunately, no word on an EU price at this time, but still it gives you a rough idea of how much you might be paying. So let's go back to that topic that I said I wanted to touch on. Basically what we have here is a piece of single player content, story driven content that is locked behind a pre-order wall. If you don't get it as a pre-order, you will not be getting it, essentially. At least not any time after release. They've basically said that it will not be released out other outside of launch. So if you don't pre-order and get this new DLC, you won't be getting the game, essentially. The uh, DLC, excuse me. Which I don't really agree with. I'm okay with, like, I don't know, weapon skins or, I don't know little pieces of side quests and things like that, that's fine, but this is a rather major piece of content. What you've got here is the bridge between the two games. Now that's going to be the thing that most people want to know, is that what happened exactly to get this world in this particular state, what exactly happened after the events of Infamous 2. And to lock them behind a pre-order wall, eh, I'm not really sure I like that all that much, but I suppose it's not the hugest deal ever, but it is a little bit of a kick in the teeth for those of us who perhaps don't want to pre-order or anyone who perhaps isn't going to get a PS4 straight away and may want to wait a few months until they actually pick this game up. Of course, they don't even have a release date for this game yet, but Sucker Punch have said that the game is set to launch in roughly February 2014. So even if you don't get the PS4 to like, I don't know, let's say late next year, you're going to have missed out on this DLC that might fill you in on some of the events and may leave you a bit puzzled otherwise. Now, hopefully they've taken that into account and have made it so you can at least understand what's going on in the game without the DLC, but it still seems a bit off to me, but maybe that's just me being a bit weird. Anyway, that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.